Not too long ago, I made a video about a company in Israel called StoreDot potentially manufacturing Tesla's 4680 battery cells, which they claim were capable of insanely fast charging, the likes of which the world has never seen before. But now StoreDot is saying that they have an ultra fast mass production line for Tesla's 4680 cells. The question is, why? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you here on the channel today. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing, liking the videos, and leaving comments. Now, really, what this is about is me sharing with you my opinions on the news and then you telling me if you agree or don't agree or what you think about this or what you think about what I think. I love it. So many of you are super intelligent. So many, seriously, so many of you are engineers, IT specialists, coders, and it's awesome to see your responses to some of the tech we're talking about in, this, in these videos. Now, I just want to say a big shout out to the 60 Patreons now, supporters of the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel. Really, really appreciate your support. It means a lot. Also, to those of you who've become members of the channel, you can click the member button and become a member. You get access then to videos 24 hours in advance. Now, Electric has reported that StoreDot, an Israel-based electric vehicle battery startup, claimed that it has become the first company to produce silicon-dominant extreme fast charging, or XFC, cells for electric vehicles on a mass production line. Pretty exciting news, if you ask me. You know, actually, there is a very large number of extremely impressive startups in Israel. For some reason, People in Israel seem to love starting new tech companies up. They seem very, very good at doing it. Now, StoreDot's partner, Eve Energy in China, produced the A-series samples of XFC pouch cells. StoreDot says it is using existing production lines to reduce the need for extra investment to manufacture its batteries. The new XFC cells will be shipped to automotive companies for testing. The company says its XFC cells will be produced at scale by 2024. So obviously we're a fair few years away from scale, unless of course, somebody comes in and makes a big investment into this company, which while StoreDot, this is not the only thing they've done. They've worked on some other very interesting things and their fast charging technology is extremely interesting. So I'll put a link in, link in the description below to the video that I made about their fast charging tech. Now, the new XFC shell cells will be shipped to automotive companies for testing. The company says that its cells will be produced and shipped very, very soon. As Electric reported recently, StoreDot announced in early September that it produced the first 4680 cylindrical cell that it claims can charge fully in 10 minutes. 100%. Imagine, right, going to your local supercharger charging your car in 10 minutes. Range anxiety just would not be a factor no matter where you were. I mean, regardless of your situation, if you need to drive a long way, I mean, realistically, there's more charging points in some countries now than there are petrol stations. Let that sink in. The 4680 refers to the size, of course, 46 millimeters by 80 millimeters. It's much bigger than any other cylindrical battery cell that's ever been made before. In August, StoreDot filed a charging time patent and opened the tech to the entire electric vehicle market. On October 20, StoreDot announced that it will open an R&D innovation hub in the US to speed up the development of solid state batteries. Dr. Doran Meyersdorf, StoreDot CEO, said, Mass production on new technologies is a critical step, which is why these first A-series samples are such a major milestone in our technology roadmap. These XFC sample cells will shortly be shipped to our global car making partners for real world testing and we are confident they will play a major role in increasing the crucial miles per minute rate, which is key to a driver's experience and eliminating range anxiety. Our rapid development process is a result of our technology being uniquely designed for manufacturing to be produced on existing lithium ion lines. This is insane. I don't know how they can make these batteries on existing lithium ion lines. It doesn't sound possible to me, but hey, 
they say that they're doing it. So it must be. They're saying, assisted by our proprietary artificial intelligence, which enables development from concept to production to be fast-tracked, meaning that we are now on track to manufacture these XFC cells in pouch or cylindrical form at scale by 2024. Now, as far as I can tell, this company doesn't have anything to do with Tesla whatsoever. They just happen to be making a cell, a battery cell, that's exactly the same size as Tesla's 4680 cells. No one else in the world is doing it, but Storedot are. Now, Storedot haven't said the companies that they're sending their cells to for real-world automotive testing. As soon as I know who they are, I'll make a video about them. Now, it does seem as though this is an Israeli company that's kind of grabbing headlines under Tesla's umbrella for battery manufacturing, and they're going to announce an equity raise before the end of 2024. Who knows? Maybe they'll float on the stock market. Now, the real question here is, it normally takes about 18 months to get a battery factory up and running. So why isn't Stordot saying that it's only going to take 18 months from now? The reason I say this is because Eve Energy, which is a $40 billion battery manufacturer, well, they're actually doing the manufacturing of these batteries. Why will it take them nearly three years to get something actually happening? Now, in addition to the information we have here, we also need to know what the details are on cost of the batteries. Extremely important is cost, power, density, performance, cell longevity, and of course, production capacity. All of these things are crucially important to, well, the actual commercial viability of a battery cell. That's one of the key reasons, right, that most battery manufacturers right now are pivoting to lithium-ion phosphate batteries. All those things I just mentioned. Everything ultimately, though, comes down to cost and longevity. And those are the two key areas where lithium-ion phosphate batteries are ahead of the rest, in my view. And even Elon Musk agrees with this view. I've been saying this for a long time now. I've been saying this well before companies decided within the last few weeks to pivot to LFP batteries. In fact, I made a video some time ago saying that LFP batteries are the battery technology of the future. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. The actual cell size, I'm not so sure that's as important as people think. I think it's other things that matter more. Now, I'm not sure about you, but for me, the key takeaway here was that batteries can charge in 10 minutes. Now, there is another company in China called Aeon who make electric cars and who say that they have fast charging battery technology that can charge their battery packs in about 12 minutes. So there's quite a number of different companies working on fast charging. I believe that by 2025, most cars on sale will charge at a minimum of 250 kilowatt hour. And what's going to happen is that the time it actually takes to charge your battery pack will just be something you won't even think about anymore. You just won't care. It'll be quick. It'll be fast. And it won't be a, a barrier to entry for electric cars. So that's the good news. Realistically, this technology is good news. The more companies that work on this kind of tech, the better. The more we have, the better. Now, a lot of people are extremely skeptical on Stordot, but Eve Energy, who are a very big $40 billion company, seem to think that this technology is the real deal. So maybe it is. I want to know what you think. A lot of you are very intelligent, seriously. A lot of you know a huge amount about the battery technology being used in different cells and packs and everything else. Let me know in the comments section below. Do you think Stordot is legit? Do you think these batteries will work? Do you think this is mass-produced, commercially viable product? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching the channel and supporting the channel. And I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.